Am I the asshole for refusing to pay my sister's rent, to my parents? Hi all, posting on a throwaway because my sister is on Reddit. Am I the asshole for refusing to pay my sister's rent, which my parents are charging her? This probably could do with come context, backstory, so here we go. I, 19M, have a stepsister, 18F, for clarity my bio parents got divorced when I was very young so I never knew my real dad and my stepsister as my stepdad's daughter from a previous marriage. I've never really faced abuse so much but I've always known my stepsister was the favorite with my parents. Just little things like when I was young and had birthdays, she always had to have presents and a fair share of the attention while the reverse was never the case on her birthday. When I was 14 I got a paper round to earn a bit of pocket money. My parents forced me to give my sister half of that money. The same was true when I was 16 and got a Saturday job at Burger King. Using my share of my pay from that I saved up and bought myself a laptop to do school work on. When my stepdad found out he made me share that with stepsister too. True to form, she managed to delete all my schoolwork including my A-level coursework. Then when I confronted her about it she smashed the laptop on the floor. By this point I had also turned 18 and my parents decided that since I was 18 and working I needed to pay rent which I did for about 6 months before I decided to move into a flat shared with some friends. So partially because of the aforementioned laptop incident I missed out on the grades I needed to go to my chosen uni, so I'm having to reset a couple of subjects while working full time. That's okay, I can manage that now I'm out of the madhouse. Dot but last weekend I got a phone call from mum, she and stepdad have decided that since they started charging me rent when I turned 18, and stepsister has just turned 18 it's only fair that they charge her rent too. The kicker? Because she hasn't got a job, has never had a job and isn't even looking for one, they think that it would be a nice and brotherly thing for me to help her pay, i.e. pay them rent on her behalf. I told them no, since I don't see why I should be responsible for yet more expenses on her behalf, plus I'm already paying my own rent utilities and council tax I don't have a huge amount of spare money to afford that. Things didn't get nasty or heated on the phone at the time but now I have uncles, aunts, cousins, grandparents etc. blowing up my phone and my Facebook calling me a horrible son and ungrateful for not stepping up to help out. So, am I the asshole here? Not the asshole. She has gotten so much off you already. I would block all of them. Not the asshole but the way they treated you is seriously abusive. You have been manipulated and stolen from. Not all abuse is physical. Edit. Spelling. Not the asshole. Sorry to say but your family sucks. They fucked up by not teaching your stepsister how to be an adult. Keep your money. Honestly I might change my number. Not the asshole the audacity. Not the asshole. Your family is nuts. All of the them. Tell your family that she's an adult and you are not responsible for her. If they think she needs help, they can pay her expenses. If everyone else is so concerned about your stepdad's insistence on paying rent, they can pay it themselves. To paraphrase, where is your stepsister's rent? Am I my stepsister's keeper? She is your stepdad's dependent, he needs to step up and handle his business. Not the asshole. Do you have any financial reliance on your parents at all? Tuition, car payments, phone payments, ECT. What exactly are they and your extended family implying you should be grateful for? I think I know the answer to these but what a better picture of OP's situation. Edit. Judgment. I've never really faced abuse. Yes, you have. Not the asshole. Info. Do the people blowing up your phone know what went on and what's going on now? Or have they been fed a line? The level of entitlement is ridiculous. They've historically disincentivized you from being autonomous, while incentivizing her to be entirely dependent on you. It's amazing you've been able to overcome that. Honestly it's all your parents' fault. IDK how she would be any other way. The brotherly thing to do would be to let her sink or swim. Not the asshole. This is not a situation where your sister is in trouble and needs financial help. Your parents arbitrarily decided to charge her rent, and they think you are the piggy bank. The proper answer is, go soak your head. Not the asshole your family is insane. How the F. Could you be the ah, they are crazy, crazy as hell. 
Never I've heard parents taking earned money from a sibling to give to another. The last one they pulled is ridiculous. Cut every contact with this toxic family, if you can call this a family. Sorry but a step-sibling without bloodshare or affinity is barely callable family. And go live your life without the burden. Not the asshole. But the three other are asshole with 25 feet of bowels still attached. What kind of Harry Potter bullshit is this? Contrary to what my parents' actions may suggest, I have as just as much value as stepsister. I wish her the best in learning to provide for herself, but from now on my support will be limited to those I choose. Should you wish to provide her support directly, her phone number is number. Copy and paste to every damn body who calls up and asks you to sign back up for the abuse. Not the asshole. I'm in awe at how entitled your parents are. It's awful that you had to grow up in such a messed up family. It's really sad to hear that extended family support their rampant cash grab. Find your own support system and go low or no contact. Not the asshole at all WTF she can get a job and pay her own rent your entire family is nuts. Hey, look how obviously shitty I am treated in a scenario that involves numerous people who all happen to be irrationally unfair which is most likely fake. Am I the asshole? I really need to know. Dot are y'all who are making serious comments actually believing this? Like you genuinely believe this is something that has happened? Not the asshole. They don't sound like family to me. These people don't deserve you. Let them go. This can't be real. Not the asshole don't give them any money. You're not ungrateful or anything they have said. They are the awe. Consider blocking your family on social media, change numbers. You're definitely better off without them. Is this real? What person would even think that they are the asshole in this situation? You are the asshole for even having the thought that you are. Come on man this is obvious karma bait. There is no world in which you are the asshole. And you know this hence why you, left the madhouse, come on. Not the asshole. If you're financially independent and have no ties to them otherwise, I'd change my number and be done with it. Abuse comes in many forms, and you've been groomed to accept things you shouldn't. You're not responsible for her or them. If they can no longer afford to house, feed her, they can give her a reality check and send her on her way. Keep your expenses low, and avoid lifestyle creep, so you never have to return to that environment. Also, I'd lock down your credit. You can't put anything past people that believe in this level entitlement. Not the asshole. I can't wrap my head around the logic here. They decided to charge her rent when they obviously know she's not working and expect you to pay it. Maybe I should buy myself a new car and see if my neighbor will foot the bill then. Seems I'm missing a trick. Not the asshole tell them this quote from Dexter Holland of The Offspring. Blank, underscore, blank. I won't pay. I won't pay ya. No way, na na. Why don't you get a job? Say no way. Say no way ah. No way, na nah, na. Nah. Why don't you get a job? I won't give you no money. I always pay, na nah, na. Nah. Why don't you get a job? Say no way, say no way ah. No way, na nah, na. Nah. Why don't you get a job? Blank, underscore, blank. Okay so it's not a quote but you get the point. This cannot be real. Is this real? You had me until saying the rest of the family is saying you need to help out. Something is not quite right with this story. Why would your relatives be blowing up your phone? Not the asshole but seeing the list of relatives blowing up the OP's phone on am I the asshole posts is baffling. What kind of families do that? What kind of friends? Every time I see it, it just makes the post seem fake. Not the asshole. I can feel my blood pressure skyrocketing on your behalf. Here is me being petty. Enumerate, as best you can estimate. How much your parents stole from you? Yes they stole it. Include the cost of your uni tuition, since it is the their golden child's fault that you didn't get into the school of your choice. Send it to everyone in you family. Tell them once they have sincerely apologized for their abuse and have reimbursed you for what they cost you, you may, I repeat, may, decide to have a relationship with them. If you think you're the asshole in this, you have no brains. This can't be real. I don't mean it in the, nothing ever happens, way. I just can't wrap my head around the extended family getting all into this. 
If it's real, then obviously not the asshole. Info. How is this even possible? NTA and they def abused you at least financially. Not the asshole. That's really messed up. You should have never had to give her any money. She is not entitled to you money or your stuff. If possible, you should step away from your family for a while. Block their numbers, social media if you have to. I believed this one right up until the last part about family blowing up their phone. No one in their right mind would take the parents' side in this. Tell everyone to F off. Not the asshole. Of course you're not the asshole you don't have to keep toxic family members in your life, let alone on your payroll flushed. I admit, I would have laughed in their face. Not the asshole. They showed blatant favoritism, stole from you, forced you to share your laptop which she destroyed after deleting your work, which just sounds malicious, and now they want you to pay rent for her. Rent that they don't even need to charge? And your extended family thinks you're the problem? Your entire family are assholes. Not the asshole. But them Oz and time to go and see because that BS. Not the asshole. This is actually nothing to do with your stepsister. This is their twisted justification for taking even more money from you. They are greedy and exploitative. Do not give them a penny. Block every single person who tells you to give them money. And go live your best life, far away if possible. Send them a bill for all the money they stole and the laptop she broke and then tell them you'll contact a lawyer if they keep trying to extort money off you. I'm pretty sure it's illegal for them to take half your money. No. I refuse to believe for even a second that Op's whole family is ganging up on him for not paying rent to his parents, for his sister, when he doesn't even live there. Unless they were fed complete baloney, this feels like a bald-faced over-exaggeration. And if it isn't, it's time to board the nope train to fuck that shit vill with your family. All of them. Go no contact and never look back. Not the asshole you actually faced financial abuse from your family. Making you share your income with stepsister was abusive. Not the asshole. Run. Oh come on. This is flat out the most absurd thing I have ever read. You are not the asshole and you should absolutely stop talking to all of them. Not the asshole, they have taken enough from you already. Please also check your credit, you can make it so no new cards are opened up in your name, which I'm worried they may do.